lovelies, long time no see. I'm seriously neglecting this channel, I'm so sorry. I think I'm just about getting to the point where I'm working everything out. I have a baby that wakes up every hour in the night. She's six months old and she's still waking every hour. She won't nap in the day, so I have no time in the day to myself to film and edit. I don't get enough sleep at night to get up earlier to edit then. But it's been tricky, we're getting someone in to help with her sleep because I've just gotten to the point where I just can't, I can't hack it anymore. <laughs> I really hate not being able to consistently upload on both my vlogging channel and this channel. I'm making the effort to make sure I film at least one video at the weekend so I have one video a week minimum on this channel. I put makeup on which is, which is a start because I barely ever wear makeup anymore. So I put makeup on but I did want to like curl my hair and make myself feel all nice to film some videos. But I've run out of time as per usual and Doug's going to be back with Delilah soon but she'll need to feed in so I thought right I'm just going to bung up my hair and when I say I've bunged up my hair I literally have bunged up my hair. Look at that. I have been asked by so many people to do a what's in my changing bag video. This is my changing bag. It's featured loads on my vlogging channel and maybe once or twice on this channel. I use it most days unless we're just nipping out for an hour and I just fling some nappies in the bottom of the pram. But if we're going to leave the house for um, you know a couple of hours or the afternoon or maybe the whole day I will take this bag out with us. This bag is by Bow Baby or Baby Bow. They have this in this olive colour and they have it in a blue colour. I'll link both of them in the description. The main thing I love about this bag is that it looks like a normal bag. I've had friends compliment me on this bag going, oh where did you get your bag? And then I say, oh well actually it's a, it's a changing bag, it's a baby bag. If you like this bag there is nothing stopping you buying this bag because it works just as good as, an, as a normal bag. I just like that it's one very unisex so both Doug and I can use it. It's a really nice size to wear on my back but it also fits really well into the pram if I don't want to have it on my back. And yeah the main selling point for me was that it just looks like a nice satchel. Before I crack on with the video, the last thing I love about it and it's probably its biggest selling point for me, um, apart from what it looks like, there's a second bag inside this bag. So as you can see it's all nice and zipped up which is good. I like that I can zip it up because I'm wearing it on my back. I worry that stuff is going to fall out. But this stripy bag that you see inside pops out like so. There was a time where I met up with Delilah's nana and um, she was going to take her for the afternoon and we'd just been to a baby class and I'd done a bit of shopping and I thought oh crap how am I going to take my stuff home because I still got to do a few bits in town before I walk home and then I remembered that this bag comes out. I can pop this bag out of the main bag. I gave this bit to Delilah's nana to take for the afternoon and had her nappies and everything in it. It does come with a strap so you, you can actually use it as a bag. I gave this to her and I took the main outside bit of the bag and I could put all my stuff in there. I just think that's such a cool idea. I, like, I don't think I've come across any other changing bags that do that and it's really, really handy. Or if you just have a lot of stuff, you can put stuff in here and stuff in here. So you, you kind of get two bags for the price of one. I do actually have a couple of changing bags. Here I go again, diverting from the video. But no, I do have a couple of other changing bags. I have um, one from Little Unicorn, which I loved. It was great on the pram. It's quite big and actually you don't need to take that much stuff out, especially when they're quite young. That was nice, but I um, it wasn't very comfortable to wear on my back and it flapped open no matter how little stuff you put in it. So you kind of felt like you were just displaying the whole of your changing bag to everyone. And then I do have a, a Jules changing bag, which comes with, well, it doesn't come with the pram, but it's the one that goes with our pram, which is really quite nice and big and it's got lots of compartments and we use that for when we have really long days out. So we use that on Christmas day when we were at Doug's parents all morning and all afternoon and evening. And we use that for her overnight bag. So when she stays over there for the night, but this is our main day changing bag. Shall we get started? So of course there's a, there's a muslin because any parent knows that these are a godsend. I have muslins coming out of my ears. I have them in the living room on the sofa, next to our bed, I have them in here, I have them in changing bags, in the bottom of the pram, in the top of the pram. I find these things everywhere, they haunt me. <laughs> these ones are from Jojo Mama, these are my favourite ones. They're really good size, nice and soft. Delilah now, she's a bit older, she loves playing with these labels. I don't know what it is with labels and babies at this age, but they, she just loves them, she just like strokes them like this, it's really cute. So as you may have heard, yes, we have a Sophie. <laughs> And what's really sweet is that when she hears this now, she smiles. She just recognises 
that it's one of her favourite toys. She's been teething for the last month. I mean, she's loved this for the last few months, but um, really the last month she has loved this. She has about four different Sophies. She has one for her bath. She has like a really little one with um, like handles on. But this is the main Sophie. This is her main girl. I know before anyone says in the comments, please don't tell me that it has mould in it. Like I know you guys care and it's really sweet that you guys think of me and Delilah when you see articles about Sophie having mould in her. Ever since Delilah's had Sophie, I just make sure that I pop her in the top of the dishwasher every couple of weeks. It doesn't smell like there's mould in there. Um, of course I wouldn't give this to her if I thought there was mould in there, but I've, I've tried my best to make sure I clean it and disinfect it and sterilise it and stuff. So before anyone makes those comments. But yeah, Sophie, loves Sophie. This little book, um, again, I think I got this book from Jojo Mama. It is I Am A Bunny. I got it because it's all crinkly as you can hear. Crinkly stuff is also her favourite stuff. She just loves playing with it. She had an absolute field day on Christmas day because of all the wrapping paper and the tissue because obviously it's all crinkly. It rattles and uh, squeaks. She loves squeaky stuff as well. Basically anything that squeaks or rattles or is crinkly is a winner. One other toy which is definitely her favourite toy. I jingle it and again she goes ah, it's my favourite toy. But this is from Mums and Puppers. I love the sound of it. So you can tell it's all sort of shiny. It doesn't sound like all your, the normal rattles that you get. She loves to sort of munch on it and it's squishy and it makes a nice noise. Again she's obsessed with this label at the moment. Also she loves these little um, the arms and the legs because they're just sort of fun to fiddle with and she holds onto them and then shakes them around like this and they're like our main toys that we go out with because um she's finally getting to that point where she will let me put her down for a little bit so if I'm out having lunch with someone I can pop her in her pram and I'll alternate between these three toys she's just happy to sit there and play with them now which is really nice because before she would never let me put her down next we have um we have a cardigan which I will I'll pop here because I need to pop that away. But yeah, we have a spare cardi which was obviously in there from when I took it off her the other day. We have a dribble bib. Dribble bibs are a lifesaver. Just because she's been dribbling so much since she was about one, two months old. These are my favourite ones because they are in the um, V-shaped kind of cowboy style which I really like. I much prefer them to just the classic round ones. But I found that most of these style of bibs are like really bulky around the neck and really sort of restrict her movement and if she tries to put a toy in her mouth she usually gets all bundled up in the bib and I like these because they're really thin so they just I bet you I could fit this around my neck oh my gosh I can fit this around my neck but as you can see it just sits flat and it's really soft these are by an Etsy store called Gathers and Bows I think I've tagged them a couple of times on my Instagram so again I'll, I'll link her shop she does loads of lovely Liberty Print baby clothes including lots of um, lovely Liberty Print bibs I always have a spare one because as soon as one gets all dribbly and wet I just take that off pop it on the radiator to dry and then I um, put a new one on pack of tissues just for general general use and oh one of these this is a this is a teether what well, is a teether slash um toothbrush i picked it up in boots it's by mam is that how you say it i'm not too sure um they have i think they have them in pink blue and green this was a christmas present and it was probably one of her best christmas presents she can really easily grab it like it's a really good size for her to grab she loves chewing on it and it's got tiny little bristles so when her first couple of teeth come through when she chews on it it will automatically just clean um, her teeth i have oh delightful i have a dirty nappy and a nappy bag which talking of nappy bags where are they yeah so in this little compartment here i have a few nappy bags these are by natey and these are 100 percent biodegradable and fully compostable 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 that doesn't sound like a word compost compostable actually have them under her cot here it comes in a pack of 60 and i've still got so many we don't use them that often but when we do it's just nice to know that these are biodegradable natey also do like nappies and things like that oh i think the sun's come out i think i'm looking really pale right now okay i've put the exposure down if the lighting's now even worse then i apologize can you tell i'm a little bit out of sort of out of practice a little bit with the filming <laughs> so yeah i always have these nappy bags sometimes you know if we go to her classes and I need to change her which isn't very often anymore and um, she doesn't need to be changed as much as she did when she was a newborn but if I need to change her and there's not a bin you just put the nappy in these bags 
they, they literally they don't smell it keeps like all the smell in and then you just chuck them away when you find a, a bin what else do i have in this little pocket i have some pseudocreme I use this every time I change my nappy. Another muslin, this is a clean one. Always have a spare clean muslin in the bag. Have nappies and wipes. This isn't the changing mat that comes with this bag. This is the changing mat that came with our little unicorn bag. It's just something to pop her on. It's nice and thin, so it doesn't take up too much room in the bag. And then we have some nappies. She's just gone up to size four nappies. Although we do have one more size three to use up here. But yeah, I think this is her last ever size three nappy getting so big when we're out and about we use water wipes but when we're at home most of the time we just use um cotton wool and water this bag also has this little compartment which is so handy because any little bits always get lost in my bags so you have this little compartment which is attached to the bag but you can detach it if you want to i might just put lots of little knickknacks that could potentially get lost some hand sanitizer I have a spare pair of socks for Delilah, a tissue which looks unused but it's a little bit, it's kind of falling apart a bit. I have some painkillers, my passport because it's the only form of ID I have. I don't see the point in getting a provisional driving licence until I learn to drive um, because I have this so I might as well use this instead of spending money on something I'm not going to use just yet. So yeah I've always used my passport as ID. And we have, oh dropping things everywhere, I have one of these um what are they called like invisible hair bands it's just really handy to have in case i want to put my hair up and then i have this uh, sanitizing water it's 100 percent natural and it's just great to spray on things like sophie or this in particular because she drops this quite easily all you have to do is just spray the toy like that just mist it it will disinfect it which is so handy when you're out and about because the amount of time she's dropped this on the floor it says you can use this on hands skin and mouth so this is also really good on delilah's hands and you don't even have to wipe it you just um just leave it to dry and she can chomp on it straight away even if it's still a little bit wet so yeah that's really handy stuff i have little small travel ones um, i have one in my bag and one in this bag depending on which bag i use and then i also have a big one which we have in the kitchen cupboard for disinfecting toys or her uh, her table that goes on her mama's and papa's chair that she has right let me pop this stuff back because i'm making a mess what else do we have we have my purse because Obviously, I need my purse. I have one of these um, clips I got from Jojo Mama. It velcros around the side or the front of the pram. It comes with two attachments. So you've got this attachment here, which you can clip bags onto. But I, I personally don't like using these just because I find that if the bag is too big to fit in the bottom of the pram, then it's just going to drag along the wheels and it I don't know I just much rather just hold the bag if I can't fit it in the bottom of the pram or you can unattach this and attach a coffee cup so yeah it's, it's a really handy thing to have and it was only a tenner from Jojo Mama I have a phone charger just in case my phone runs out of battery last thing is an umbrella in case it rains but most of the time if it rains I just have to get wet because I'm pushing the pram and it's really hard to push the pram one-handed with an umbrella Delilah stays all nice and dry in her pram with her waterproof cover on and then I generally end up getting wet. That is what's in my changing bag. Like I said, I'll try and link whatever I can in the description. Um, I'll definitely link this and whatever else I can. I will be doing quite a few vlogs in February. I don't wanna say I'm gonna do every day because let's just see how Delilah's sleep goes because she is making it very hard to edit videos. But I'm probably gonna put a video up every other day on my vlogging channel during February. So yeah, head on over there if you want to go check in with me and Delilah um, and our day-to-day -day, day -day happenings. Oh, and before I go, if you have a baby, then let me know what your essential item is in your changing bag, apart from nappies. Nappies are obviously like the main essential, but let me know what your other essential is or essentials are in your day-to-day -day changing bag for your baby. I'm going to stop dragging out the end of this video and I'm just going to go and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!